shape. In today's Manly Minute, Ken has five tips for cleaning that hat. Yeah, it's not easy, but you know that a lot of guys and women, everybody, you wear a baseball cap, it's one of those kind of go-to things, and then after a while, you look at it like, ooh. What's yeah, going inside yeah. there? Oh, my no. goodness. You can't just throw it in the washing machine. It's going to ruin all the integrity of that cap. So here are the uh, tips to uh, keeping your baseball cap clean. It's a process, and it's going to take you some time and need some elbow grease as well. So get prepared for that. First thing you want to do, you want to fill up either a sink or a bucket. Okay, it's going to be a place that you're going to have to have access to for about four hours. So think about it. You can't do it in the kitchen sink if you're going to be doing something there later. So four hours, you need a bucket or a sink. You need warm water, not scalding hot and definitely not cold water, not cool. Warm water is where you want to start with on this one because hot's going to do too much damage. Cold's going to shrink your hat. Number two, you want just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon of laundry detergent or maybe even something a little bit uh, softer like OxyClean. Now, some folks actually try to use that dish, dish detergent. That's a little too harsh. You want to go with a detergent. It might have some extra bleaches in it, too. You don't want that at all. And you definitely uh, don't want anything that's too harsh. So just a little bit of that goes inside the bucket. Now we're ready to go to work, all right? You also want to grab maybe an old toothbrush. Or maybe you can actually go and buy certain little brushes that you use to spot clean. But you're going to need a small brush, and you're going to start with the big areas of that hat that have some stains that are very noticeable. So you're going to spot clean that with a little bit of your detergent in the water, all right? That's where you're going to start with that to get those areas taken care of. After you've checked all your spots and gotten everything taken care of, here's where the soaking begins. Let that thing soak. Now, 30 minutes will do it and really start to break up some of those uh, areas where you have those big stains that you've been scrubbing on. But really, two to three hours, just let that thing sit in there. Every hour or so, you go back in, you pull that cap out, you kind of pull it out and check to see if those big spots are there. You'll see that they'll start to disintegrate and they'll start to evaporate over time. Now you know things are working. Okay, here comes the even harder part because now you've got it clean. Now you have to dry it, and this is where it comes the important part to maintaining that shape. So first thing you want to do is completely rinse that off and get all that soap and detergent off of that cap. Then you want to take a towel and pat it dry. You don't want to rub it. Pat it dry to get the excess moisture off. Then you're going to hang it. Two ways you're going to hang it. You can either find a way to hang it in front of a window where the breeze comes through and you've got it hung and it keeps that shape. Or if you have those little mannequin heads or maybe even um, uh, a little thing that holds cookies or maybe a little tiny box, anything that will maintain the shape of that cap. Even if it's a square box, you can put the cap over the top of it. It's going to keep everything on the outside nice and uniform. That's the most important thing because once you start to dry that cap, if it starts to dry and lose its shape, well, then the hat's ruined the next time you go to wear it. Also, put it in a place where it's going to be able to drip. Put a little towel beneath this cap because it's going to drip excess water for quite some time. Make sure you take care of that. And within about eh, 12 hours, it should be completely air dried and ready for you to gunk it up all over again. A process that really will to do like once every year. Keeping your baseball cap clean, it's important. Go find out more about it at GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date and man up for keeping your favorite cap looking like new. Of course, you know we're doing radio like we always do. Today is a year-end show. Damian Barling, Jason Ross, and me, Ken Rudolph, hanging out with Sports 1140 KCK show called The Lowdown. We're going to... Thank you, sir. And that was one. We're going to do the year in review. We'll go back to the moments that we did this year, including the morning that Prince passed away, the day that Muhammad Ali passed away, and uh, some of the other shows that we did this year. Hopefully, you can hang out with us today later on at noon. Good day continues after this.